Good afternoon to all of you. Myself, Dr. Gagan Singh. I am Associate Professor in Uttarakhand Open University. Today, the lecture which I am going to discuss with you that is Industries Long Run Supply Curve. In the previous sessions, we have a discussion about the industrial and farm equilibrium. We also discuss about the conditions of industry and farm equilibrium in which we discuss about the total cost and total revenue approach, marginal cost and marginal approach. These are the conditions for the equilibrium of a firm and industry. Then we discuss about the firm and industry equilibrium in the short run and long run. What are the various conditions for uh, the equilibrium? And uh, then we discuss about the difference between the firm and industry we also, uh, in the previous sessions. Today, we are going to discuss about the industry's long run supply curve separately. In this uh, session, we will discuss uh, about supply curve of a firm and industry, then short run supply curve of firm and industry. Uh, in the same way, we will discuss the long run supply curve of firm and industry, then the supply curve uh, in the case of constant cost industry, decreasing cost industry and increasing cost industry. These are the aspects which we are going to discuss uh, in the today's sessions. So we start with the supply curve of firm and industry. What does it, uh, firstly we will discuss about the what uh, do we mean by supply curve. Basically su supply curve indicates various quantities of the product that the producers are ready to produce and sell at different prices. So supply curve basically is a point uh, which indicates about the quantities that a producer is ready to produce and sell at different prices. So this is about the supply curve. The concept of su supply curve applies to the uh, condition of the perfect competition only. This is uh, only and only possible in the case of perfect competitions. It does not. Uh, it does apply uh, to. Uh, does not apply to uh, monopoly and in perfect competitions. It applies only and only in the case of perfect competitions. But as far as the monopoly and in perfect competition is concerned, this supply curve is not uh, apply uh, in uh, these uh, type of competitions. Next, we have the parts of supply curve. But uh, we can divide uh, the uh, supply curve in two parts. First one is short run supply curve with reference to a firm and industry. And second one is long run supply curve with reference to a firm and industry. So uh, these are the uh, basic uh, parts of the supply curve which we can divide in two parts. First one is as, as I said that short run supply curve. Second one is long run supply curve and we will discuss both uh, these conditions uh, uh, for the firm as well as for the industry. So these are the parts of a supply curve. Firstly, we will take short run supply curve of a firm. So it refers to the period. Uh, what does we mean by the short run? It refers to the period in which a firm changed supply by changing variable factors only. It means that a firm can change uh, only in, uh, in the factor those who are variable and the uh, firm does not have the time to change the fixed factor. The factor which are fixed for uh, changing the firm had no appropriate or uh, enough time to change the uh, fixed factor. They can only make changes uh, in the case of variable factors uh, only in order to meet the uh, demand. Uh, in short period, if the price is equal to average variable cost, firm will continue to supply the product. As we uh, discussed uh, earlier that firm will continue to uh, uh, its uh, uh, product to supply its product at the price if it is able to uh, able to meet the average variable cost. If it is below than average vari variable cost, then firm will decide uh, to discontinue. Otherwise, if the firm is getting average variable cost, then firm will continue to supply the product. So basically, short run supply curve of firm uh, is the condition uh, where firm can change uh, its supply by changing the variable factors only and a firm does not have the time to change the fixed factor. So this is about the supply curve of a firm uh, in short run. Another we will have a firm will continue to supply a commodity till such time as the marginal cost of additional unit is equal to average revenue or price. Average re revenue or price is the same uh, as I uh, discussed, uh, we discussed it earlier that price is equal to average revenue in case of perfect competition. Under perfect competitions, uh, price that is AR of the product is equal to marginal revenue. So they both are same as we uh, discussed earlier that these are this is the condition uh, in the case of perfect competition that AR is equal to MR. The firm will continue its production 
till its mr is equal to mc this is another condition that when the firm is getting uh, mr which is equal to mc then uh, firm will continue to its uh, make its production if mr is equal to till its mr is equal to mc mr stand for marginal revenue and mc stand for marginal cost ar stand for average revenue the short run supply curve of perfectly competition is that portion of the marginal cost curve which lies above the average variable cost curve we will discuss with the help of graph, uh, graph also that the supply curve of a perfectly competition firm is that portion of marginal cost uh, curve which lies above the average variable cost the line which is above average average variable cost curve that is uh, known as supply curve of thumb which is same uh, marginal cost curve uh, if it is above the average variable cost curve it is known as the short run supply curve of a, uh, in the case of perfectly competition now you can see uh, on your uh, with the help of graph we will discuss in detail about how it is possible and how it is happen you can see that on o axis there is output and o y axis there is revenue and cost when the price is p uh, op then pro, uh, firm equilibrium output uh, is a q then this is uh, the point when ar and mr is equal and mc curve cut the mr uh, curve from the below and e is the equilibrium point when there is uh, firm uh, wants to increase the price then uh, new price will be op1 then the new uh, output uh, equilibrium output point will be oq in this case you can see that uh, average variable cost is above the ar and mr and the dotted line you uh, you can see on the graph that uh, this is known as the supply curve of the firm which is same as i said that the mc curve which is above average cost that is known as the supply curve as said previously slide that uh, the line which is above the average cost uh, of the mc curve is known as the supply curve of the firm this is the condition uh, in the case of supply uh, short run supply curve of a firm so you can uh, easily understand with the help of dotted line that the line which is above the average cost Uh, is the line of mc curve which is above the uh, average cost curve is known as the supply curve of the um, firm so you can easily draw with the help of uh, this equation that when ar and mr is equal and mc curve cut the mr from the below this is the e is the first equilibrium point and when there is increase in the price then the new equilibrium point will be e1 and when we uh, uh, draw this line from e to e1 with uh, dotted uh, line you can see on your screen that this do, the uh, dotted line is known as the supply curve of a firm now uh, we will discuss about the uh, short run supply curve of a industry uh, previously we discussed about the short run supply curve of a firm now we will discuss about the short run supply curve of a industry what an industry which represent the group of several firm as i said earlier in discussion that a industry is uh, represent a group of several firm which produce the homogeneous product which has the same characteristics uh, the product which they produce it is the lateral summation of the supply curve of all the firm is the add uh, add all together the supply curve of the firm is known as the uh, supply curve of the industry in the short run supply curve is the lateral summation of the marginal cost curve of all the firm Yeah, what does it mean it means that uh, while we discuss the uh, supply curve of industry in short run it means that the supply curve it is, uh, is it is the lateral uh, let summation so lateral summation means add together all the uh, marginal cost of the firm is known as the supply curve of the industry it slope upwards like marginal cost curve of the firm the slope of the uh, supply curve is upward in the case of uh, short run supply curve of industry Uh, summation of that uh, portion of marginal cost uh, curve which is above the minimum point of average uh, average variable cost avc stand for the average variable cost then it is known as the supply curve of the firm basically supply curve of the uh, industry uh, in the short run it is the uh, lateral summation of supply curve of all the firm and its uh, slope is upward like the marginal cost of the firm you can see uh, on your screen uh, and uh, with the help of graph we will discuss that how it is possible that a short run supply curve of industry uh, first uh, in the first graph you see the uh, firm uh, um, uh, supply curve 
then when the price is op uh, on o x o o axis there is output and o y axis uh, we have the revenue and cost when the price is uh, p op then uh, equilibrium uh, output at this point is o q and the equilibrium point is e when there is increase in the price and in order to meet the demand uh, of the market then there is in, uh, increase in the price uh, price increased op then uh, the quantity of uh, output that is also increased from oq to oq1 the new equilibrium point you can see on your screen that e1 and when uh, is is the uh, equilibrium point of firm it is a marginal cost of the firm and it is known as the supply curve of the individual firm and uh, in the case of uh, industry it is a lateral summation of all the uh, supply curve of the firms that is known as the supply curve of the industry uh, in the next graph you can see that o axis there is output and o y axis there is price and uh, no, sorry revenue and cost is shown when price is op in the case of industry then uh, 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 industry is producing 100 quantity and if there is increase in demand in the short run when uh, firm increase the price several uh, firm enjoy the uh, economies of scale and then uh, they produce more than uh, 100Q uh, to 100Q1. You can see on your screen that uh, when price increase from OP to OP1 then there is increase uh, in the demand also uh, and the output uh, of the industries uh, OQ to OQ1. Then the new uh, it is the graph which is uh, the line which shown uh, uh, slope upward that is the supply curve of the industry. In the long run, uh, short run, we can see that the uh, little summation, yes, uh, summation of all the supply curve of the uh, firm is known as the supply curve of the industry. So you can see uh, with the help of this graph that in the first graph the supply curve of the firm is there and in the next uh, you can see the supply curve of the industry and both the, the shape of the supply curve uh, is from the upward. It is uh, upward uh, as the marginal cost uh, of the firm uh, is equal to supply of the uh, supply curve of the firm. In the same way you can see the industry supply curve is the uh, uh, shape is also upward. Now we will discuss about the long term supply curve of a firm. Previously uh, slide we discussed about the short run uh, supply curve of firm, uh, firm. Now we will discuss about the long run supply curve of firm. Long term uh, what does it mean it refers to that period of time in which a firm can increase uh, in supply by increasing all the factor production. As, we, uh, as, as I said uh, in earlier that, earlier that uh, in short run firm uh, can change only in the case of variable uh, factors but uh, there is no change uh, in the fixed factor but in the long run firm can uh, increase in supply by increasing all the factor production. No factor is fixed and all factors are variable. In long run uh, all the factors are variable and there is no factor that is uh, fixed so firm can change in all the factor of productions. Firm will produce only at minimum average cost and gets only normal profit. It is the condition of the perfect competition that firm will earn only normal profit in the case of long run. And the equation is LMC stand for the long run marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue that is equal to AR average revenue and that is equal to long run average cost. So this is the conditions uh, in the case of long run supply or uh, it, uh, firm uh, uh, which earn only normal profit and this is the condition when it is only possible when LMC is equal to MR, uh, it is equal to AR and it is equal to LAC means uh, long run average cost. Special point of MC at which it is equal to minimum uh, average cost will determine the supply of the firm in the long run. It means that when M marginal cost is equal to uh, its minimum average cost that uh, determine the supply of the firm in the long run. This equilibrium point is called point of optimum production. This is the optimum pr production where firm uh, earn uh, only normal profit. Long uh, run supply curve is that portion of its MC curve, marginal cost curve, which that, uh, lies above the minimum point of, of its average uh, cost curve. As we discussed in the short run supply curve, when MC curve is above the uh, AC curve and that dotted line is known as the supply curve of the firm in short run. In the same way, the long run supply curve is the, that portion of its MC curve that uh, lies above the minimum points of its average curve. Now you can see 
uh, on uh, the screen with the help of graph we will discuss the same long run supply curve of a firm uh, on o y axis there is revenue and o y axis there is output p when the price is op that is uh, ar is equal to mr and the production is om equivalent point uh, will be uh, e where lac uh, lmc ar and amr are equal so the uh, above uh, equilibrium point the lmc which is above the lac long run average cost that is known as the supply curve of the industry as we discussed in the case of short run and this uh, is um, uh, also same but conditions when lmc is equal to mr uh, is equal to ar and that is equal to lac uh, the dotted line which you see on your screen that is the supply curve of the firm in long run when price is op and the output uh, is om now we will discuss about the long run supply curve of industry it means that long run supply curve of industry is determined the long run supply curve of all the firms so as we said that the uh, long run supply curve of all the firm is known as the long run supply curve of the industry it is not the lateral summation of short run supply curve of the firm as we discuss in the short run that it is the lateral summation add together all the uh, short uh, supply curve of the firm but it is uh, not uh, happen in the case of long run supply curve of industry it depends upon the change in the optimum size of the firm as also the change in their number so uh, this is uh, possible when there is change in the optimum size of the firm and also there is change in the uh, number uh, of their firm reason being what it mean uh, means that reason being in the long run firms enter and leave the industry and firm enjoy economies and suffer dis uh, dis economies of scale as we know that in the long run uh, many firms enjoy, may enjoy uh, economies of scale and many firm may suffer dis economies of scale that's why it, it depend upon the change in the optimum size of the number and also the change in their number so this uh, is about the long run supply curve of and industry and these are the factor uh that uh, why we not uh, take the lateral summation of uh, all the short run supply curve of the firm while we uh, considering or uh, deciding or finding out the supply curve of the industry so this is the reason that in the long run many firm uh, may enter uh, uh, in to uh, in order to enjoy the uh, economies of scale and many firm exit the uh, industry because uh, due to the uh, dif uh, suffer dis economies of the scale in the long run supply curve of industry uh, is it is known by the multiplying long term optimum productions of a firm by the number of the firm it is uh, how we can calculate it uh, you can see that uh, on your screen that s is equal to q multiply by n s stand for the long run supply curve of industry q stand for the optimum output of, of a firm individual firm and uh, n stand for the number of firm in the industry when we multiply the optimum out of a firm with the number of firm in the industry that is known uh, as the uh, long run supply curve of the industry so this is the equation while we calculating the long run supply of the industry we must have uh, the knowledge about the optimum out of the firm and number of firm in a industry so this way we can calculate the long run supply uh, curve of a industry short run supply curve of the industry slopes upward as we see in the previous slide that the slope of the supply curve of the industry is upward but the shape of the long run supply curve of the industry depends upon the fact as to which law of productions applies to the production of the firm law of productions uh, different law of productions uh, apply while we uh, calculating the long run supply curve of the industry it is uh, maybe the increasing cost Uh, it may be the decreasing cost or it may be the law of constant cost so if productions obey law of constant cost then it will be an horizontal line parallel to o axis this is one condition second one may be if productions obeys law of decreasing cost then it will slope downwards and third one is if productions obey law of increasing cost then the slope of the uh, supply curve of uh, uh, industry in a long run uh, that may be uh, or that will be slope upward so these are the three conditions we will discuss separately uh, in the next slide that uh, the slope of the supply curve of the industry depends upon the fact as to which law of productions applies to the production of the firm first one condition is when constant cost industry and supply curve what does it mean 
constant cost industry refer to such industry uh, it refer to such industry wherein increase or decrease in productions make no change in uh, average cost and price it means that both remain constant when uh, there is increase or decrease in production but there is no change in uh, average cost and price and both remain constant then that is known as the constant cost industry and supply curve of the constant cost industry is an horizontal straight line parallel to o x axis we will discuss uh, uh, in the next slide with the help of graph graph also that supply curve of the constant cost industry is an horizontal straight line and it is parallel to o x axis now you can see on your screen that the first graph uh, that is the uh, related with the firm when the price is op as in the constant cost industry the first condition when the price and ec are same in in this case you can see that when the price is op and then the output is om in this case smc and sac intersect at the point that is a and in the cost uh, constant cost industry when uh, firm, uh, firm increase their production from om to om then there is no change in the price and cost and then you can see that the new graph uh, a new equivalent point is b where uh, which, is, which intersects uh, smc1 and sac1 at the uh, point b and where lac is equal to lmc so this is the conditions uh, of the constant cost industry uh, co uh, and the firm uh, new equilibrium point will be e and there is no change in the price but the output you can see that output is increased to meet the demand of the market from om to om in the same way when we discuss the long uh, constant cost industry supply curve of the industry uh, in the case of industry then you can you can see that when price is op price is same as we said in the constant cost industry there is no change in the price and cost and the product uh, equilibrium output point is oq and in that this case when demand curve is uh, dd and supply curve is ss it intersect uh, at the point a and when there is increase in demand then the firm increase its production from oq to oq1 then new equilibrium point is b and demand curve shift uh, from uh, d1 d1 and new supply curve is s1 s1 and when we uh, joint adjoint all the lines at the point a and b the new supply curve uh, of the industry you can see that it is equal to uh, price of the uh, industry or price of the firm it is a horizontal line which is uh, 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 spotted with the uh, dotted line you can see on the screen that the dotted line which is uh, parallel to o x axis is the uh, supply curve of the industries so in uh, the case of uh, constant cost industry when uh, output uh, uh, there is increase in output but in that case there is no change in the price and average cost of the firm and the supply curve of the industry is the horizontal line uh, which is uh, horizontal line to the o x axis next condition is the decreasing cost industry and supply curve uh, in this case it refers to that industry in which cost goes on decreasing as the uh, industry expands what does it mean that when uh, in the long run when industry want to expand its productions uh, and its output then there is cost will be uh, cost uh, will be decreased in such an industry as output is increased in response to increase in demand average cost on decreasing this is the conditions of decreasing cost industry in this case mc and ac curve of present and future firm will be shift downward what happens to the uh, mc and M ac curve they uh, they will shift uh, downward and the condition is lac equal to lmc long run uh, average cost is equal to long run margin cost that is equal to average revenue that is equal to marginal revenue and that is equal to short run average cost and short run marginal cost long run supply curve of industry will be sloping down downward uh, in the case of constant uh, industry it is uh, parallel to uh, horizontal line or parallel to o x axis but in the case of decreasing cost industry the supply curve will be sloping downward how it is uh, possible we will discuss with the help of graph also you can see uh, uh, on your screen that uh, the first graph represent the uh, status of uh, firm when the price is op when the price is op then uh, the production or output is om and the equilibrium point uh, where the lac 
and uh, is equal to uh, AR and MR and MC curve cuts uh, uh, AR MR from the below. When there is uh, uh, increase in the production, then price and the cost will uh, go down. It will uh, you can see that price uh, the new price is OP1 in the case of firm. And uh, the same uh, if we discuss in the case of industry, you can see that when the price is OP, then output uh, is OQ. In this case, the demand curve uh, denoted by DD and the supply curve is denoted by the SS. It intersect the both at the point A. And in the case of decreasing cost industry, as, uh, as I discussed earlier that when uh, firm increase its production to uh, meet the uh, increased demand, then there is decline in the cost and the price. Then the pri new price is OP1 in the case of industry. And the new equilibrium point is B where uh, uh, demand curve and um, supply curve uh, intersect with each other and the dotted line you can see that which adjoin A and B point that is the long, uh, supply curve of the industry in the case of decreasing cost industry. So decrease in the case of decreasing cost industry the slope of the supply curve is downward but in the case of constant cost industry the shape of the supply curve is parallel uh, or horizontal line which is parallel to OX axis. So this is the conditions uh, how it changed in the uh, case of decreasing cost industry. In the next we have the increasing cost industry and supply curve. So uh, this is the third one condition it refers to one wherein increase in production is followed by increase in cost. When the uh, farm and industry uh, meet uh, the increase in demand when they increase their production then uh, the cost is also increased in the case of increasing cost industry. It means when output is increased to meet increased demand average cost also increase and cost curve for the firm shift upward with the expansion of the industry. Expansion of the industry when firm want to expand it and the size of the industry then the cost curve of the firm uh, also shift upward and the shape of the supply curve uh, due to increase in demand there will be more supply in industry despite higher cost and price. If despite uh, higher cost and price uh, firm uh, increase its uh, supply because uh, there is increase in demand uh, rather uh, they consider the fact that cost and price is higher. It is possible in the case of increasing cost industry and all the cost curve of the firm shift out outward with the ex expansion of the industry. You can see with the help of uh, graph that when increasing cost industry and supply curve we will discuss in the first graph uh, the firm uh, in the case of firm you can see that when price is op and output is om uh, then uh, smc and uh, sac intersect each other with the point at b and when firm uh, increase its demand uh, increase supply to meet the increased demand then the price increased and the cost also increased the uh, new point is op the new price and uh, is OP1 and uh, output is OM. At this case you can see that there is uh, the supply curve of uh, cost curve of all, uh, all the firm in uh, uh, shape goes upward and SMC, SAC, LAC1 they all are the new uh, cost curve of the firm. In the same way you can uh, see uh, in the next uh, graph that uh, in the case of industry when price is OP in that case uh, output is OQ and uh, it uh, this is the point where de demand curve and supply curve of the industry intersect with each other and when there is increase in price uh, OP1 then uh, the new output point will be OQ1 and uh, the new de demand curve D1 D1 and new supply curve S1 S1 intersect at the point A. When we adjoin these both these points then you can see that the shape of the supply curve is upward. In the case of increasing cost industry the shape of supply curve slope upward. While in the case of decreasing cost industry the shape of the supply curve uh, the slope of the supply curve is downward and in the case of the constant cost industry the shape uh, slope of the uh, supply curve that is horizontal line or that is uh, parallel to OX axis. So these are the different conditions of the supply curve uh, in the case of constant cost industry, uh, decreasing cost industry, increasing cost industries. So uh, with the help of this uh, sessions I hope that all the learners will understand about the supply curve of firm and industry 
and you will also able to explain the supply curve of pharma industry in the short run and also in the long run and you will also able to analyze the constant cost industry uh, so the supply curve in three conditions and that is constant cost industry and in the decreasing cost industry and also in the increasing cost industry thank you